Number 30, a steady stream of 0.25 kg snowballs is shot perpendicularly into a wall at a speed of 4 meters per second. Each ball sticks to the wall. This figure here gives the magnitude f of the force on the wall as a function of time t for two of the snowball impacts. Impacts occur with a repetition time interval delta tr equals to 50 milliseconds, less a duration time interval delta td equals to 10 milliseconds, and produce isosceles triangles on the graph, with each impact reaching a force maximum f max equals to 200 newtons. During each impact, what are the magnitudes of letter A, the impulse, and letter B, the average force on the wall? Let us see during a time interval of many impacts, what is the magnitude of the average force on the wall? Okay, so let's just remember how we can calculate the impulse. So generically speaking, the impulse is just the integral of F dt. And we can see that this means that we have to sum every forces for every piece of time. So this is equivalent to just taking the area under this curve over here. So that's uh, one equivalent procedure to make this integral over here. Just calculate the area under uh, the forces. Okay, so that's how we're going to find letter A. So this area over here, we have two different tri triangles. Actually, we can have one triangle. Let's consider just one triangle. So its height is equal to 200 newtons and the width is equal to 10 milliseconds so 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds so this area over here it's a triangle so you have to divide it by 2 is just 200 times 10 to the minus 10 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2 okay so this gives us just one newton second so that's the answer of letter a the impulse for one snowball is one newton second letter b the average force on the wall so if the force is constant that then we can like calculate an average force let's suppose that the force is constant of course it's not but the average force consider the impact as having a constant force so the impulse is equal to the average force times delta t this only works if f is constant in this case it's not however we're taking the average force okay so the average force is equal to j over delta t and in our case it, that's 1 over delta td so that's 1 over 10 times 10 to the minus 3 and this gives us 100 newtons so that's the average force on the wall by one snowball for letter C, we want the average force during a time during a time interval of many impacts. So we have to consider like the let, let's see, like you start throwing one ball over here, and then the second one starts over here, right? So now this is our time interval, which is equal to TR. I just change it a little bit to the left, right? So it starts at the beginning of each triangle so that's all we have to do so for letter C the average force is equal to J over delta TR which is equal to 1 over 50 times 10 to the minus 3 and this will give us 20 newtons so that's the answer of letter C